that you can use media, the social networking and social media to earn paradise very quickly, quicker than before. Did you know that? Before, if I were intending to talk to a thousand, two thousand people, it would only be possible here, like for example, a hall of this nature. Mashallah, we've got several thousand here this evening. Alhamdulillah, may Allah accept us all. But today I can speak to a million people. Before I know it, 20 million, 30 million. Subhanallah, how? If I put up something interesting, even if my account is unknown, something interesting, the whole world, it reaches the world. If it is good, you get a good reward. If it is bad, your sin is multiplied. وَلَا يَحْمِلُنَّ أَثْقَالَهُمْ وَأَثْقَالًا مَعَ أَثْقَالِهِمْ Allah speaks of others, but the lesson is for us as well. They will hold the burdens, their own burdens on the day of judgment. And the burdens of many others, they will hold them on their own shoulders. So one reads the Quran and says, is there no contradiction here? The contradiction being one place Allah says, you will never shoulder the burden of another. And in this verse, Allah says, people will be holding burdens and the burdens of others. It's a simple explanation. You never ever hold the burdens of others unless you are connected to that burden. Unless you were a person who caused that, then you are responsible. So this is why we say, may Allah forgive us, how you use your Facebook is very important and how you use WhatsApp is extremely important. Whatever else it is. Nowadays, there are so many different platforms. I can, if I were to read them, we'd be here for one hour and I still wouldn't have made justice to it or done justice to it. So wh whether it's Viber or WhatsApp or Telegram or anything else, you know, Skype or Tango or Mango, whatever else it is. <laughs> we need to be responsible because the, the people are divided into several categories. There are some on either extreme or a lot are on either extreme. Some would say, no, brother, just use it, man. Come on, have fun. Have, have fun. Fun. F-U-N. You know what it stands for? May Allah forgive us, really. Subhanallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us. We think it's just a moment of fun, not realizing it's destruction. How long does it take to destroy your life? Take a look at some of the international personalities whose lives have been destroyed because of one nude photograph that they sent someone as privately as they thought WhatsApp was. WhatsApp is not private, not at all. Anyone can dig up your entire history of WhatsApp if they're ready to pay a little bit of money. That's what I was told. Allahu Akbar. So don't think it's private. Anyone can pick up on it, your history, everything, whatever you've done on YouTube, whatever you've watched on your computer, whatever was ever seen, your Wi-Fi hotspot is registered and you know the websites you've gone to, it's known. And guess what? While you were busy watching the porn, may Allah forgive us, they were busy ph photographing you without you knowing. You were being videoed. It's quite easy to turn on remotely a video on a phone and even on a PC, a PC is even easier. Did you ever know that? Well, if you didn't, and if you're doubting what I've just said, go and Google it and you'll see. This is why once I saw a man and he actually had stickers all over his phone in the front and the back. I told him what's going on. He said, I don't want anyone to take videos of me. And that's when I learned about it. I said, oh, are you sure? He says, yeah. Okay, that might be another extreme. But at the same time, we've got nothing to hide. We should never be people to hide. People who have something to hide. We should never be people who have something to hide. I've got nothing to hide. If you want to search, you search and you carry on and you go for it. Allahu Akbar. But take a look at how some top personalities have dropped. I'm sure you've seen the news of late. There are people who've done things some time back. And guess what? They are being nabbed because they did not use technology correctly. They allowed their lusts, their desires to overtake them when it came to the use of social media. This is what happened. So mashallah. When have we used our phones to contact our brothers, our sisters, to solve problems, to invite people towards goodness? When have we used our Facebook and our Twitter to retweet something of goodness so that we can get a reward for everyone who's seen that message? We are building our paradise in a far more easy way than those perhaps just before us. Why? Because we have opportunities that they did not have. Today you can reach a million people, like I said. Whereas others would have struggled to reach out to even a thousand. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us. But their intentions were far greater than ours. They were far more sincere than us. 
This is why a small droplet of what they've done is better than us. Let's take a look at the statement of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam regarding the Sahaba. The Sahaba radiyallahu anhum. We cannot compete with them. لا تسبوا أصحابي فوالذي نفسي بيده لو أنفق أحدكم مثل أحد ذهب ما بلغ مد أحدهم ولا نصيفة. Do not speak bad about any one of my companions. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam says, for for I swear by Allah, if you any one of you were to spend gold equivalent to the weight of Mount Uhud, which is a massive mountain in Medina Munawwara, it would not be equivalent to a handful of what they spent or even half a handful. It's the sincerity, it's the timing and everything that Allah intended. The value was far greater. But Allah has blessed us with opportunities. Use the opportunities. Your mobile phone will bear witness for you or against you on the day of Qiyamah. So use it in a way that you will be proud of it coming up and saying this. I was only used by this man or this woman to spread goodness and to do something good.